Hey guys, so today I am going to attempt to paint some Easter decorations that I got at Michael's. This was a while ago before Michael's shut down. I have Zena here to keep me company. Ever since I got her, I've been obsessed with bunny things. So I love it when Easter comes around, even though I'm not religious, it's because I get to stock up on cute bunny things. I might use this picture as a reference. The would you board behind her and everything. I'm not a painter, so I would have painted the bunny kind of like how her coat used to look like. I'm not on that level at all. But anyway, I got this when Halloween stuff went on clearance. I got this at Joann's and I've been keeping it in the back burner to see when inspiration would strike and um, it struck. I'm gonna right here bunny way and then point it towards my bunny shelf for those of you who don't know Zena used to be my animal companion and she passed away last year so yeah I'm doing this kind of a therapy session and kind of dedicated towards her these bunny items kind of just keep her alive in my eyes so yeah I got a canvas painting of a bunny it's so cute but not really my aesthetic. So I'm gonna try and do kind of a Baroque style border, kind of like what I did with my locker. I also bought these eggs. They do open and I don't know if I'm gonna put anything in them. I've just got them as knickknacks for the bookshelf. And then I got this one and I also got this jelly bean container. I don't do candy, so I'm gonna see if I can write something else on it but i am going to start with these two i have the cutouts for my stencils i love keeping them so i know the exact placement that they're going to be in better than using this because i can't see back here i actually am liking this so i might just do these in the corners and then go from there i have my pencil i'm gonna trace them onto the canvas and paint them let's Start and see where this takes us. There was a time when you had me fall into the ground like a king without a crown. Whoa. Why you make it hard? Don't let me down. You might as well be lost, but I'm found. I'm waiting for your love. You just give me. So all the sides are done. Now I'm going to paint this black. And I also wanted to show you guys, I got these bunnies at the dollar store. I'm gonna make a little banner out of these, write Xena's meme on it. I'm also pretty excited because I just decided on doing this design on the top right here. So I can't wait to see that.
Standing in a glass bowl At the end of a black hole Collapsed and upside down Faces rolling past me All my memories rolling past me This is not forever Folks changing like the weather Cold and Alright, I'm gonna finish the rest of this off camera and I'll see you guys back when I'm ready to paint this skull. So I had to do these off camera because I am running out of storage and I found a little hack. These white pens are easier to use if I put a layer of the paint marker. So that's how I was able to do the polka dots and the bunny silhouette on this one. I didn't even have to dip into the acrylic with the eggs. I just did a few layers of the black and then the same with this one and then for the jelly bean container i just took one of these cutouts and made the outline the outline is going to be white as well as the other decorations that i choose to put on here
Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. Alright guys, I think I'm done. I'm pretty stoked about this. I just took my finger and blotted paint on the edges. Kind of made that ombre type of feel, but not really. <laughs> I also decided to go a bit simpler with this egg. Just says goodbye, no, and then hello, yes. I still have to paint the seam. My Ouija board inspired egg right there. This is the other one. It's just straight up polka dots. I wanted to kind of stay true with how it used to be painted. And then, pretty excited about this one. So I decided to leave the silhouette at the front. I am gonna write on it as soon as I figure out what I'm gonna use this uh, storage for. So this side, that's what that looks like after a few layers. And then this is the side with my planchette. Yes, no, goodbye, hello. I used my actual planchette as a stencil. This came with the Stranger Things Ouija board. I also did this side. This side has the hearts on the corners. I decided to not do the exactly the same just so each side is its own. And we're back to the silhouette. And the front, I decided to kind of make it opposite, mostly white and 
black outline. I'm just gonna give you guys a wide shot of everything and in this video right after. If you haven't watched it yet, I did make a video of how I painted this locker. I'll link that at the end of this video if you guys want to go ahead and watch that after this. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!